You have been engaged in a variety of paradiplomatic activities on behalf of the UK government, including leading a Sino UK track uh, cyber security dialogue. Yes. Uh, could you please share with us the main conclusions coming from this process? Well, I think it's very difficult uh, to uh, share conclusions because these activities are a work in progress. Uh, a lot of it is about uh, getting to understand uh, the other side's perceptions and points of view. Um, but um, and, and, and each one has its own dynamic. Uh, you know, there, there are several. China has several of these engagements with the United States, which has been going on for some time, with the United Kingdom, with the European Union, with Australia. Uh, each of them, obviously, is driven uh, by the particularities of those uh, relationships. I think in the UK side, uh, on the one hand, it's been possible to identify some areas where it is clearly in both sides' uh, interest to collaborate, and in one case at least, um, in, in the question of uh, compatibility of uh, security standards, to actually uh, develop a separate uh, discussion, a separate relationship. And in the second, uh, to um, talk about issues that it's very difficult for governments to talk about directly, particularly in areas uh, like uh, conflict and uh, militarization uh, of the cyber domain and how the law of armed conflict, international humanitarian law, might uh, apply in that domain. These things can't be discussed official, at an official level. Um, and the paradiplomatic track enables uh, exploratory uh, discussions to take place uh, you know, without prejudice to official positions. You are a member of uh, WAEF's Council of, on mm. Cyber Security. Please tell us, uh, do you think our economies, companies and governments are safe in cyberspace now in, in, at the end of 2016? Um, I think that there has been a, a long process of uh, understanding of the threats that uh, exist within the cyber domain and uh, levels of understanding of this are still very, very uneven. I don't think you can uh, talk about a single common uh, position that everybody has, has got to. But there has been significant uh, consciousness raising and I think uh, in the private sector a growing awareness of the digital value of uh, enterprises uh, and the need uh, to, to protect uh, that um, as being integral to the, to the business model of the company. So we are now starting to see um, um, more effort, more resources, more focus going into this area. I like to think that by now the bulk of major uh, corporations understand that cyber security is not something that uh, um, is left in the basement with the, the technology people but is something that belongs in the boardroom with the chief executive, you know, the directors, um, that, 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 that message is getting through. Uh, discussion between governments and the private sector are, are happening at a variety uh, of different levels and in many different fora. Um, getting, you know, I mean, we're never going to get identities of views. The, 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 these constituents are looking at uh, these problems from, uh, from very different perspectives and with very different uh, drivers. But uh, I, again, I do think that uh, there, there is some um, greater approximation, greater understanding of positions. Please tell me what do you think about this conference? Are you satisfied with the subjects that are here, main topics? Well, I think, uh, I think we're dealing with the right subject matter. There's no question about that. And I was particularly pleased, uh, coming from an institute specializing in military affairs and conflict, to see that there was an explicitly uh, military uh, dimension to this, because I think that is important. Um, but uh, no, I think uh, the, the areas that uh, uh, this, this conference is, is uh, uh, addressing uh, are exactly the right ones. Uh, I've been very struck since I arrived here because I hadn't previously appreciated the extent to which Poland is really um, evolving very quickly as, uh, as a country that uh, is uh, putting a lot of emphasis, a lot of resources into this uh, whole area and attracting uh, a lot of uh, and developing a lot of new talent. So it's been very interesting from that perspective. Thank you.